Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Mike Cromwell. I'm Brian DeVault. And we're here today extending our series on cybersecurity, specifically the elements of a great security posture. So today we're going to dig into the fourth element, which is compute. Brian, why don't you take it away and tell us what the key elements are here and why they're so important to a business. Yeah, you bet. And you notice this category is a little longer. We've got a few additional items in here that we, we want to want to take care of because this represents a lot of risk in our environment, right? Act, if someone gains access to a PC, they potentially gain access to everything that our companies use to do business. Order of magnitude, where does this one rank amongst the it's, top it's, threats? It's huge. It's, it's right behind end, end users, I would say, in, in terms of okay. risk. One thing you want to have in place for sure is endpoint protection. When I say endpoint protection, I could mean a, a variety of different things, but what you're talking about are next generation antivirus software, malware prevention. Um, you know, anything that helps you secure that environment. We're huge fans of several products here. At Netrio, as an MSP, we use Forda EDR, we use Silence, we use Webroot. So we've got a, a few different offerings there that we, that we endorse. You gotta have an RMM enrollment tool or something that you can use to manage your, your computing environment. So those are tools that allow the systems administrators to perform IT management tasks, right? So they can run scripts, they can patch software, they can change passwords, they can do all kinds of things that they need to do to manage that asset, lock it down if they need to, those types of things. You've got to patch, right? You've got to patch your systems. This is common knowledge. You'd be surprised how many businesses don't do it, but it's one of the, the easiest things you can do to, to increase your cybersecurity posture is just to make sure you have a good patch management policy and that good RMM tool to make sure that it's applied. It's not enough just to patch anymore. You've got to report against it as well, right? When we talk about patching, why is it so important that, that companies stay up to speed on that front? That's a great question. So what drives patches are vulnerabilities. When, when, a, when a software manufacturer determines that there's a vulnerability within their, their system, or if a hacker determines that for them, then they've got to go create a patch for it. They create a fix for it. And those, what those, are, those are just iterative software updates that help secure the system. Sometimes they introduce features or benefits outside of what came with the base OS, but for the most part, they're security related. Developers are always trying to stay ahead of the hackers and it's just this constant cat and mouse game. And once there's a vulnerability exposed, the patch is released, how much are cyber, you know, hackers going to look for companies where they haven't done the patch deployments yet and, and, and exploit that yep. uh, to get in the all, all the time is the answer. That's the reason that's... that's yep, that's the reason why it's important and it's gotta be regular. And you got to have a plan for zero day exploits. You know, if something comes out and a manufacturer produces an immediate fix for it, there's probably a reason behind that urgency. Go fix it, right? So you got to patch your system. You've got to harden your systems, right? So when manufacturers install software, we'll talk about operating systems on computers that come off the shelf, they have security vulnerabilities. There's services that are enabled that don't need to be, to be enabled. There are administrative shares that are open against that PC that don't need to be there. Same thing goes for servers, right? So it's not just an exercise in, you take a computer out of the box, load your endpoint protection on it and you're done, right? You've got to harden it and most MSPs will use an image process to do that. You've got to scan and report. So this is, this is going to come into play in several other our, of our categories, but unless you understand what your vulnerabilities are, then you don't know to patch for them. Same thing from a patching perspective. You've got to scan after you patch to understand what your effectiveness rate was, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not good enough for me as a systems administrator anymore to just put, to punch the button in my RMM tool that says, I want to patch all these on Saturday night, right? If I patch them all on Saturday night, on Monday morning, I need to be running a report against that that says, how many of those effectively patched? Which ones do I need to go manually touch? Which machines were offline at that time? And when is their next scheduled time to catch up on, the, those, on that patch? Got it, because right. you could have deployed something into the environment that didn't take because right. somebody might have been offline or some For whatever kind of, reason, yeah, right? Yeah. Computer crashed in the middle A plethora of, of reasons. Most yeah. of the time when you, when you run patching or when we run patching, it takes around three times or three rounds of patching to get that, that patch process complete. Wow, and, for, and, for and, and that's reasons. you being in the business. So for the average company, right? probably not even aware of that. No. And most people, you know, if they don't have a system in place for doing patching, you know, they, anytime something pops up on their computers and computer and says it needs to update, they're going to hit that later button, right? 
do it later, do it later. I'm busy All right the time. now. And so what you, if, when you have one of these tools that allows you to push it, you can prevent that from happening Got and it. say, the user cannot choose to do this later. So then you talk about agents for cybersecurity software. So we're an AT&T cybersecurity partner here. We use the Alien Vault platform. And there's an agent that you can load on every compute that communicates information about host information detection or host intrusion detection, file integrity management, all of those things. So it reports against anything that's suspicious that's happening within the environment. So your SOC or your MSSP can remediate that, take the machine offline, quarantine it, whatever's necessary. And really, I mean, this is about prevention, right? Any cyber, the cybersecurity posture in general is about prevention. There's a few things that you can do related to incident management or, or MDR, but really it's about prevention. And yeah. so we really want to try to focus on that. And then in the, in the server environment or cloud environment, you're definitely going to want some host intrusion detection systems in place so that if in the event that an asset does become compromised, you're immediately going to be made aware of it.